How's it going, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. It is time for another comic book haul. This time I am back to my uh, normal uh, online auction pickups that I uh, usually win. Uh, I bid on different kind of lots, a lot usually with a lot of variety in them, uh, and that's what I have here again today. There's a DC, Marvel, Independence, Humor, Kids Comics, the whole... Um, spectrum of books but um this first batch i don't remember the total cost of the lot but on the bat i wrote i always write down what they break down to per book uh when i get them so these are 56 cents a piece uh when you break down what i paid for them so first one up here we have the ultimates number two um that's a key issue for of something i can't remember what it is um but uh picked that one up for 56 cents the amazing spider-man number five was in there i believe that's the second appearance of silk maybe or third appearance it's first first time on the cover i know that uh deadpool number one was in there 56 cents uh peter porker the spectacular spider ham number two 56 cents batman 66 number one so you see there's a bunch of different kind of stuff in here. Here's a uh, number 20 of Batman 66. Um, Thor, the Deviant Saga, uh, number one of five. 56 cents. Uh, this one was cool. Biff to the Future, IDW. This is a subscription cover, number three. I thought that one was kind of cool to be in that lot. Also in here was uh, Hawkeye number one, the Kate Bishop version um 56 cents a random wit oops random whitman wonder woman uh this is issue 251 so 56 cents a couple of issues of the girl with the dragon tattoo here's number one and issue number two so for 56 cents can't complain uh street fighter versus the dark stalkers uh number one from 2017 fix this um thrilling planet tales this is a reprint i think that's from ac comics but it reprints some old um space comics from the 50s i believe also in there was rusty spade the metaphysical metal metal detective blue the blue lily number one um this technophage crazy metal cover was in there for 56 cents and then also what was in there where'd they go um a couple of issues of drawn and quarterly uh the magazine so this one was in there for 56 cents and also this one was in there for 56 cents so that was that batch of books <clears throat> excuse me um uh, then this next lot i don't again didn't write it down what i paid for them but these break down to 48 cents a piece so, I got Stars and Stripes, number one. Uh, Identity Crisis, number one of seven. Identity Crisis, number six. And number seven, final issue. Infinite Crisis, number seven. Wait, that was Identity Crisis. This is Infinite Crisis. <clears throat> uh 52 book week one number one um detective comics number 674 uh like i said 48 cents that's the first appearance of those guys but i don't remember who what their name is um a random batman beyond number six i don't know if that's from the first series or the ongoing series and then also jla avengers number one of four was in there for 48 cents so i thought that was a pretty good deal and the next batch here i got um these were a bunch of ind independent comics and they ended up breaking down to uh 66 cents a piece so this is a bunch of stuff like that's kind of off the beaten path but um it was a good it was a good deal for the price um, but this one, the first one here, this is a super cool, um, Nosferatu 1922. I never even heard of that book. That's a uh, image, but that's an Al Al Alex Ross painted cover. That was pretty sweet. Uh, then also this is a numbered, uh, issue. 
Sirius Gallery from 2000 with a nice Dawn cover on there. See, there it's numbered. I don't know what that's all about. And then here's a number one of Dawn Pinup Goddess. And then um, Burning Circle number one. Pretty sharp looking cover. Uh, Lady Death, The Rapture number one. Lady Death, Dark Millennium number one. And this one I didn't, I had no idea that they, somebody else did a Red Sonja comic. Um, but apparently they did, and it's by Roy Thomas, of all people. Uh, look at how different they made her look in there. But um, I don't. I think this is just a... I, I want to say it was a one-shot when I looked it up. Now I can't remember. But I just thought, man, that's really weird. I didn't know anybody else did um, comics about featuring her. Uh, this one was in there from Homage Studios Ball and Chain. I guess that was optioned to be a movie or a show or something. But that was in there. Uh, Aphrodite 9... Wizard number zero. Nice cool cover there. Um, that's not... Wild, Wild Times Wildcats. Another Wizard Zero issue. Uh, Dungeons and Dragons in the Shadow of the Dragon number one. I never heard of that publisher either. Uh, here's one I never heard of either. Uh... It's Comex. It's a Bazooka Jewels, number one. Cover says it all. <clears throat> Looks like a pretty crazy comic. Let me see here. And then here's a Bazooka jo Jewels, number two. I can't remember. I looked that one up, too. I don't remember how many there are in there. Uh, Zendra, this is number one. It's a nice cover. Zendra, number three. Zendra number five and Zendra number six. Then the exec number one. Um, at first I thought that looked like a J. Scott Campbell, but it's an Al Rio, I believe, cover there. Uh, then also uh, decoy number one, the one shot. This is a, a Finch cover. Very cool. <clears throat> Then this one from Oni Press, The Coffin, that's a pretty sweet looking book right there too. Um, this is an Alan Moore source book for um, Supreme, um, Virgin Variant, I guess. Glory number zero from Awesome Comics. Here's another Dawn comic, volume three, Crypt of Dawn. Twilight Girl number one. Cool looking. Uh, Dreams of the Dark Child number one. I did not know that Dark Child was an actual publisher of Dark Child comics, but it is. Uh, Dark Child Redemption number two was in the lot. Uh, the Seventh System from Sirius. This is number two. Nice, cool looking cover there. Uh, Shanghai Big Machine. Some kind of <clears throat> computer animated artwork there. Um, I forget what is this? Bo boogies or bugs? Bugs number one, <laughs> whatever that is. Uh, there's a random penthouse comics in here. This is issue. What is this? Uh, issue number thirty-two. I think it was like the second from last issue or the third from last issue. Uh, Stray, it's a kind of like a prestige format comic there. Uh, the ABC Sketchbook, featuring a bunch of cool artwork from different artists. Art Adams got some stuff in there. Um, Chaos Moon, this looked pretty sweet too. So for 66 cents, you can't go wrong. Then here's some more random ones. Here's Xenoscope, Return of the Wicked Witch. Um, the Sumerian... Uh, Iron Shadows of in the Moon, something like that. Very nice cover there. Sheena, Queen of the Jungle, number five. And then back to that coffin book, there was some random um, 
trade paperbacks in here for so they break down to be 66 cents this one uh cover price 11.95 the coffin so got the whole series a whole run there rick and morty volume one trade paperback for 66 cents 30 days a night beyond borrow um this one is 17.99 cover price for 66 cents and then sheltered this one is from image and it is cover price ten dollars got it for 66 cents too so there you go uh that's all the comics i'm going to show off this time it's a pretty big oh no you know what let me do this next thing too because there's hardly any any here but um it's pretty cool because what happened was i i ordered these um this lot of kids comics <laughs> And I want it for eight dollars. I got. I'm gonna need my little thing here again. I want it for eight dollars. I didn't. Um, you know, I had the as usual. There's some pictured and some not it, not pictured. I didn't know that there was 32 in the lot when I bought it, but I want it for eight dollars. <clears throat> so um, I got a top cap from Charlton number 13. So yeah, I'm gonna have to bag and board these, obviously. Um, underdog number one from Harvey. Beetlejuice from Harvey number three. I'm trying to put that this run together too. Then there was some random Ren and Snippies in here, the later issues, which are always good to get. Um, but anyways, well, but before I go too much further, so eight dollars. These break down to a quarter a piece. Okay, so Ren and Stimpy number thirty three, uh, thirty six. 44, 43, I think 44 is the last issue, I think, 39, I think that's why I bought it, because when I was looking for the last issue of Renny Stimpy, it was really hard to find, so, um, and I think that one might be actually better looking than the one I have, um, then there was a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles special in here, summer of 1993, uh, for a quarter, <clears throat> Excuse me. Flintstones and Pebbles, number 25 from Charlton. Here's an earlier run in Stimpy, number 11. A Darkwing Duck Returns Cartoon Tales collection, like a little mini um, trade paperback of a couple issues of uh, the Darkwing Duck uh, series. Uh, Mickey Mouse and Pluto. An old gold key. Bugs Bunny. So a lot of these, I mean, like here, Donald Duck, you know, the usual funny things. But what was what when I got the lot and what was in there that wasn't in the picture was this. The Incredible Hulk number five. Now, uh, you know, obviously there's no cover, but I counted the pages. It's complete. So for a quarter... I got the Incredible Hulk number five. So I went right on eBay and found somebody who would make a cover for me. And I got the cover made so that now, you know, I'll put the... I mean, it's, you know, they make the cover. It's not a real cover, but it's a cover. So, boom. Now I have a complete <laughs> Incredible Hulk number five for a quarter. And that's the first appearance of Tyrannus. I was super, I couldn't believe it was in there for, I come across and I'm like, what the heck is this? So um, not even listed in the pit or not even shown in the pictures. And then I got Richie Rich, uh, Sonic the Hedgehog number 11, no cover, Casper, 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 a ripped up Casper. But you know what? For eight dollars for thirty-two comics, uh, Cybernary was in there. Everything's Archie, and like I said, I really bought it for those Ren and Stimpies, and then Walt Disney Comics and Stories, Tweety and Sylvester, Archie Riverdale High, Betty and Veronica, a random Champions number nine that's beat up to crap, Reggie and Me. Betty and Me, and in the last one, another coverless comic, Marvel Tales, number 277, featuring Spider-Man, but I was, like I said, I was super excited 
because that this one was in there. So um, what? how can you complain for 25 cents? It's coverless, but it's mine and I love it. So, all right, that's where I'm going to end now. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like button. And uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. Please leave any comments below of anything you saw in the video that you uh, thought might be of interest or that you enjoyed looking at. Um, also, if you know anybody who might like this kind of content, please let them know about my channel so that they can check it out and see if they would like to subscribe too. Um, other than that, again, I'll just leave you with that. So um, hopefully you enjoyed it. And like I always say, you know, the deals are out there. You can find, you know, comics for a decent price. You just got to look. Um, and, you know, how can you, compl I can't complain about an Incredible Hulk for 25 cents from the ninth, what, like 1962 or 63, whenever this came out. But anyway, uh, I'm rambling on, but uh, you can tell that I'm excited that I got this in the, in the slot. But all right, well, I'll let you guys go. Thanks for watching and stay until the end. And I will see y'all next time. Good luck out there for comics. Take it easy. Have a good week. Bye.